That was a terrible throw. But it's somehow an excellent. Yo, stay in this one. Stay in this one. Stay in this one. Hey champions, it's Chom here once again, and today here we are with the final episode of our Let's Go Legend Hunting series. Today we're gonna catch ourselves a Mewtwo. And it's going to be a great time. So without further ado, we're just going to jump into it. You guys can see I'm here in Celadon City. And I'm going to hop on to my Charizard. And he's going to help us get over to the little island or cave that you have to be in. In order to find Mewtwo. So you guys can just fly over this way. Or you can obviously run off the bridge and take uh, the water down. Uh, we're just going to hop off Charizard now so we can get inside. And without further ado, let's jump into it. Now, I've already run through the cave. Picked up a bunch of items. Uh, and just kind of had a fun time. There's some really dope Pokemon in here. Such as this Rhydon. But even better... Um, sorry, right horn, but even better, there actually is Wild Rhydon, which the first time I saw it, I was so excited because that's Rhydon is such a boss Pokemon. It is the original Pokemon, the first ever designed Pokemon, and it's so cool to see him running around full size in this cave. So hopefully, we can find one spawn in here as well uh, while we're running through. It seemed pretty common the first time, so I'm definitely, I definitely think we could actually run into another one. Um, I found a few in this open area. Maybe we can just kind of just make a long, long run around. Maybe he'll spawn in. Maybe he'll spawn in. He doesn't want to spawn in. Damn, alright, it's fine. It doesn't matter. It's not important. This video is not about Rhydon, it's about Mewtwo. Um, but as you guys may have noticed, this series has kind of been on a little bit of a hiatus for quite some time. Because I, um... Because... Ooh, there's a, there's a Gold Duck and a Ditto! I don't even think I have a Ditto, but I'll catch one later. Um, but yeah. The, the series is on somewhat of a hiatus for a while because of the fact that... Um, I just kind of took a few days off of doing the YouTube stuff to do some actual, like, work stuff. And so here we are now. Uh, finally back at it again, plus I got the chance to kind of cool down on the Let's Go P to Let's Go Eevee and kind of get my get my energy back, my drive back for it. So here we are, ready to whoops, ready to catch this Mewtwo, who is just around this corner here. And, oh man, I can't wait. I can't wait to see this cutscene that's about to ensue as we, as, we, as we talk to this Mewtwo here. You can see him right in front of us, this big bad boy. Um, I'm just going to quickly save. Because I am the spook. We've been playing the game for 40 hours. That's not that much, to be honest. Without further ado, let's jump into it. Yo, that was super dope. Also, how big was Mewtwo? He was huge. All of, all of his stats rose as he does. He looked cute. Like it looked like we were only up to his like like top of his leg, which is crazy. Dope. Also, you guys can see I'm leading with Sensei, who is significantly lower leveled than this Mewtwo. But I have a game plan. You see, I have a really really fun game plan, which I'm sure is pretty obvious. We're gonna go over a calm mind first. We can try and tank this Mewtwo's attacks. We're gonna have Sensei Mega Evolve because we couldn't do that before in that playthrough because you had to be the champion first. But now that we have the champion, we got our hands on the um, Mega Stone. Look for Amnesia. I'm gonna do zero damage to this man. He goes plus two, I'm gonna go on plus one. He still outspeeds me even in mega form. That says something. Admittedly, he has a max speed nature because, well, I wanted him to be a max speed nature. Uh, I set him to timid using the Lady Enceladon. Alright, I'm not gonna waste my time, I'm just gonna start attacking. Otherwise, he's gonna keep getting more and more amnesias and I'm just gonna be going nowhere. Plus one special defense, I should be able to tank this pretty well. And I'm not I'm not weak on the festival defensive side because I am you know, mega out of him. That's ridiculous. That's one amnesia, but I'm also plus one Mega Alakazam. This thing is thick as all hell. Uh, I think I do lose this battle here. Yeah, I will lose this battle to get a crit right, right now. A crit will probably kill, actually. Um, yeah, so I am losing, but we can afford to go for some healing items. Because, of course, we are the trainer. And this will get us to full, yeah. Sensei doesn't have a lot of HP either. He's a significantly lower, like, base HP level than the rest of my Pokemon. Also, the match time is... Not very long, I'm realizing now, when Mewtwo is like this tanky. Look at the match time. We have 3 minutes and 30 seconds left. We've already gone through 1.5 minutes, which is kind of crazy. Um, let's go for another Shadow Ball. Mewtwo has Recover. Oh my god. Does that mean we're going to have the hardest time in the world doing this? Do I have to start stacking my my um, my uh, my special attack buffs? Because I can't seem to hit a 20% um, stat decrease on Mewtwo. Alright, we're going to go for one more Calm Mind. Heal up again, and then we will go for another Shadow Ball. Hopefully, he won't keep stacking. We're, we're two minutes through the five-minute battle right now. I might even lose this battle. I might even beat him before the time runs out. Um, and it's with it is a timer because I have to like actually, you know, do this quickly. It's not a turn count; it's a literal timer. 
so I have to use short animation moves or whatever. A weird way to do it. If they did a turn count, that'd be that'd make more sense. But given that like I could make this a lot easier for me by turning off animations, it's kind of weird. You know? It's kind of weird. Anyway, um, we should have a good amount of more damage. Should two shot me from this range. Um, sadly, I do have to. Oh, I don't have to heal because I um I what do you call it? I use my calm mind. I'm going to heal again, and I think Mewtwo... Oh, there we go. With the special defense shot, Mewtwo is now in a two-hit KO range. I can, go, I can go for one more Shadow Ball. Mewtwo recovers. He might actually die to this attack right here. Because of the D-drop and, I mean, how high my spot attack is now. Double. In, I only plus one defense. He's still going strong. But we get the second defense drop. Wow, apparently being plus two matters a lot. If he recovers again, he's done for. I should live this Psychic. Theoretically, I do live it. There you go, Mega Alakazam trumps Mewtwo. That's awesome. That was a pretty dope battle. Seeing the two big psychic types of Generation 1 go head to head like that was awesome. And of course, using a little bit of Gen 6 magic to get uh, Alakazam over the line. There you go, Mewtwo. It's tiny. That's kind of cool. Um, I guess we just start throwing and see how we go. It's been a while since I've actually played uh, this game. And okay, yeah, that's what I expected. And yeah, that, that's a really dope opening animation, actually. That stance, I love that. It's like the, the iconic stance. Hence, I love it. That's a little... Okay, that's how he puts up this little barrier. I right, record him. We record him. We hit him. Excellent. Can we get the catch? Ooh. I got a little bit excited. He's definitely not going to be an easy catch, hence we have a million balls. I should probably, like, try and make sure as many of them hit as possible rather than missing like I am right now and still missing as I'm talking about it. Okay, that still landed even though he jumped. Come on. Stay in the ball. It seems very viable that like we don't need to be using the Master Ball, using berries, anything like that. So we should be fine. I'm not sure what I am ever going to use the Master Ball on. Maybe if I ever see like a shiny type Pokemon, shiny type, what the hell? A shiny Pokemon that I think might run away from me because it keeps breaking out my Ultra Balls, and then I'll throw a Master Ball at it. Um, but yeah, if I don't use a Master Ball on this, I don't know what else I would use it on. Unless they add new Pokemon to the game, which I don't think they're going to do. Bro, please. What, what's with your god tier timing? It's like he timed it so I can't ever get an excellent throw. Alright, come on. We're getting mad two shakes back to back to back. Okay, he puts up his little berry barrier. Every time. He, he doesn't have a lot of gaps in his animations. Let's, let's wait for the attack. There it is. And we're going to swing. Okay, it's fine. I thought that would be a great. I'll take the nice. Can he stand the ball? He doesn't want to stand the ball. I never thought it would be this easy anyway. It doesn't matter. Come on, man. Stop. Stop with all the animations. Thank you. I love them. They look great. We're just getting the ball. Because I'm going to have to catch you a million times to find out. Ooh! Ooh. Ooh. It was a close one. That was a terrible throw. But it's somehow an excellent... Yo, stay in this one. Stay in this one. Stay in this one! That was such a good throw. I did a weird flick. I, I, I literally Wingardium Leviosa that throw. I did a swish flick. I went to throw to the right. Like, this is my wrist. I went to throw to the right, and I was like, oh wait, he's dead in front of me. So I went like that and flicked it. And my timing was perfect. That was an awesome throw. All right. So we caught the level 70 Mewtwo with 4,000 XP. That's a good amount of XP. I'm kind of I'm kind of sad that um, that uh, Dragonite was on the party to start leveling up some more. Uh, but since Sensei gets level 61, Charizard 65, and Ninetales 62. That's awesome. Now let's check out this Mewtwo real quick. First of all, it's Pokedex entry. Mewtwo's dark blue. Is that a different color than normal? I don't know. We have a small Mewtwo, which is kind of cool. We have the genetic Pokemon. Its DNA is almost the same as Mew's. However, its size and, dis and disposition are vastly different. Let's check our motion. Move number one. Interesting. Interesting. That's a cool one. Does he... That sucks that the animation that he does in his iconic stance where he puts his hand like that isn't one of his attack animations. It's kind of sad. I mean, it's, it's one of his battle animations. I love how you can just Kevin keep swinging. Just keep doing this all day long. All right. So let's actually check out this Mewtwo, our now strongest Pokemon. Um, and let's have a look at him. Hey, look, I do have a ride on. Let's uh, check summary. So we got the Timmy Nature we wanted, as it always will do. What's our moveset like? Psychic Recover, Amnesia, Swift. So we saw everything but Swift. Uh, let's see. The um, the real important stuff, the IVs. Please give me something really good. That is... Honestly, okay. I don't like that the attack is in... Like, is one of the best. 
ideally, because I, I want to get max HP, max speed, and max defense. Um, and I don't want to be using all my bottle caps on this one dude. You know what I mean? Like three bottle caps on one Baggio. But I think I might keep it because I know something happens as I exit the cave. So I think what we'll do is at the very least I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this catch because it was a, it was a, it was a, it was an epic catch, man. I want to keep it just because the like how I caught it. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll actually play it out. I'm actually gonna grab you two and check in my party because um, I want to use him because he's dope. Um, I don't want to chuck him over Sensei. That almost seems rude, but I'm going to do it. So I'm sorry, Sensei. I love you. I love you, Sensei. I'm also going to give him some moves. So I'll be, I'll be back real quick. I'm just going to teach him some TMs, and we'll, we'll continue on our way. All right, guys. So we're back, and I have this big boy following me. Look how huge he is. It's so weird that Mewtwo's that big. I feel like I'm a miniature human, because from memory, Mewtwo isn't that much bigger than Ash in the anime. Um, but whatever. Let's keep moving on. And I know... Like, I've technically caught it in every single other video has ended at this point, but I heard there's some story relevant to catching Mewtwo, so I'm going to make my way out of this cave. In fact, I might be able to escape rope out, but I'm just going to run around, because that way we can get to see Mewtwo follow us around for a little bit, and just be a badass. Just kidding, Mewtwo's found something. What's over here? What did he find? Hey, a bag of Stardust. Mewtwo is finding us a bank. He's making up for the fact that we threw a bunch of Ultra Balls at him, so shout out to Mewtwo for being awesome. Um, let's get out of here with this gold duck. This gold boy. Mewtwo looks hella dope. He's so big, man. It, it, it actually just blows my mind how big he is. Actually, let's see if he does his like, cool stance when you, when you talk to him. Does he stand on the ground and do his cool thing? No, he just kind of nods at you. Mewtwo seems very pleased. I'm glad. I'm glad you're pleased. No! Get out of my face, Zubat! Let's carry on. Alright, let's get outside. Maybe the little um, encounter happens outside. I feel like it would be an outside thing. Please? Hey, Hey, chum! Oh wait, don't tell me. You already caught that super strong Pokemon, didn't you? I knew it! So let's call it Mewtwo, huh? Man, you got to Mewtwo before me or that girl? Huh? Oh, I ran into this girl, uh, this gutsy girl, who said she was looking for a powerful Pokemon. I think she meant Mewtwo. Well, I guess that's that. Here, take these. I won't need them now. Three escape ropes. Thanks, man. I saw the girl come in here, too. She must be looking for me, too. You should go go show it to her. Okay, so let's go find the gutsy girl. Me, too, so big. What the hell, dude? It still bamboozles me to this day. All right. So maybe she... Jesus. Every time I walk into, into the cave, there's like a, a Pokemon right in my face. All right, because I want to find this gutsy girl. And I want to make her part of my video. I just don't know where she would be. Where would she be? I'm trying to think, like, what what kind of dead end would she chill at? Ah, she is just chilling here. Alright, so we have our new BFF. Let's just talk to her. I was going to save, but I might, I'm not sure if I want to soft reset this Mewtwo yet, so that's not safe. Ow. You were hit by a low flying Pokeball. Oh, whoops. You're not a Pokemon. It's so dark in here. I saw you and thought you were some kind of Pokemon. How rude. But how amazing. Well, uh, I'm nice to meet you. I'm green. So, hey, I, I'm just cautious. I'm just curious. Are you here because you're also looking for, you know, something special? Right, me too. Drat. So you knew about it already, huh? What? You already caught it? Hey, no fair. I was planning on catching it first. Hey. This is what I wanted, man. I wanted to battle Green. I wanted Green to be in the game. And she is, and I love it. Look at her. She's a badass. Legit, like, ranking those trainers, it goes it, it goes green, blue, red. Green is the best. Red is basic. It doesn't even have words. I actually do like blue. I don't dislike red. He just doesn't do much. He's just kind of chilling. All right. Uh, she has strong Pokemon. Also, like I said, I, did, I put some TMs in here. I'm actually just kind of going to try and sweep with this Mewtwo. By using Calm Mind. Two should be enough. Never mind. I mean, Mewtwo could learn Brick Break. Maybe I should've done it. Maybe I should've done it. Clefable is such a thick Pokemon that I think that even without Light Screen, it'd live one. I'm confident it would live one. Watch a Toxic me. I'm really afraid of that for some reason. I'm really afraid of that. Moonblast! Plus two special defense, you should be fine. Yeah, we're fine. Thank you, Lord, my special attack. That's so unnecessary, and I'm so offended by it. We're gonna combine again then. 
We'll just have to calm mine again. It's like a 10% or 20% chance to lower, but I swear it lowers me every time. Or maybe it's a 50% chance. Maybe it is a really high chance. I don't know. If it's a 50% chance, it's a really good move. Alright, so so far it's 50% in this specific instance of me playing the game. Honestly, I probably could just keep calm minding. Because even if I get hit by a Moonblast, oh, that's damage. Reflect, that's fine. Because we are Mewtwo, we are all about the special attacks. Let's go for the Psychic Swing for a second time. I, lo I love seeing Mewtwo in this game. He looks so good. Moonblast again. This should be the last turn of Calm Mind too, I believe. Please don't lower my attack. Special attack again. Oh, sorry. Uh, last line. Last t uh, last turn of Light Screen. I literally, it literally just came up on screen, but for some reason I blanked out. Thunderbolt looks really cool in this game. I kind of wish we could see Mewtwo like find more stuff with his hands, because we saw the animation in the Pokédex, but he hasn't used it yet. Brute Root goes to 64. Nine tails. I wonder which nine tails she has. It doesn't really matter. Probably going to be the uh, regular. It would make the most sense. And we'll just swing with a Psychic again. I think we're going to straight up sweep her. I mean, I'm plus one. I'm, I'm still plus two. I, I did lose one, but I'm still plus two. Which is pretty hefty. Get, get, pff, this Gengar's dead. Unless it somehow managed to hit me with like a Shadow Sneak. If that's even in the game. It might not be actually. Do you reckon Shadow Sneak is in the game? I should have Shadow Balled to see a different move. I'm an idiot. Because it's, def it's definitely dying. Like, we knew that for a fact. All right. I'll Shadow Ball the next Pokemon that comes in that isn't weak to Psychic. Which is probably the next Pokemon that comes in. Victory Ball. Just kidding. It's weak to Psychic. But I I'll Shadow, do I shadow Ball for the walls? No, it's a physical Pokemon. It's it can hit me on my physical side. Which scares me. So, Psychic again. We Mewtwo sweeping. The sea leaf. I haven't trained this Mewtwo at all. I just told. I'm just telling you what to do. And had you been doing things the way you're doing things, you would not have beat it in battle. So you're welcome. I saved you from the embarrassment of Wild Mewtwo's destruction. All right, Kangaskhan. I can't Shadow Ball that either. I guess we're never going to see what Shadow Ball looks like. Psychic. One sucker. Ooh. Well, well played. Kidding, goodbye. Alright, last Pokemon. B something I can watch. She's probably gonna be a starter. Would it be Blastoise? Would she have Blastoise? I think she has Blastoise. Yeah, see, I knew it. We have Thunderbolt. So we're not seeing Shadow Ball unless it lives unless it lives Thunderbolt, which I would believe. I'd believe Blastoise could live with Thunderbolt, especially since it's about to Mega Evolve, confirm what you watch. See, I told you. I might die, actually. This thing could very well kill me. This thing could very well kill me. Fake out. Just kidding. I'm gonna kill The good man damage. But we're gonna heal up. I'm not playing games with a blast, so it's staring me down. I'm gonna use a max potion too, because I have a high HP. 244 HP. It's a little bit high. Some might say. Go back to full. Jesus. Hydro pump. Plus three special defense. We tank. Wow, we didn't tank that as well as I thought we would. Um, go for a shadow ball first. I don't think that number's gonna kill. Oh, that, that is the move. That is the stance. Why didn't it show it in the Pokedex? I'm triggered now. That was dope. That's what I want to see. That's the kind of move animation I want to see. No, Mewtwo! I'm sorry. Do we, do we blast those 1v1? I kind of want a Charizard. That's stupid. Let's go for Venusaur. Let's get Brute Root out on the field. Show her what a real starter can do. The Blastoise 1v1 would have been cool. This is just kind of make o overkill. Mega overkill? Yeah, it would be mega overkill because mega rolling. Let's actually go for the real overkill. Paddle dance. Blastoise Mega Evolve. Yo, speaking of mega evolution, where is me Mega Mewtwo's Mewtwo's Mega Stones? Because I do not know. Bop. Ah, cool. Her Blastoise is KO'd, no problem. I'm kind of sad that Mewtwo didn't get to sweep. Mewtwo died because of a crit hit. Feels bad. Um, but we beat Pokemon Trainer Green. Come on, what's with that? What, Mad Bank? 19,000? Okay. Wow, you're strong. Well, I guess that's that. Here, you can have these. Mewtwo stones, yeah, I thought so. I thought as much. Oh, I know. 
Why don't you become one of my Pokemon? Wait, what? Why don't you become one of my Pokemon together with Mewtwo? Excuse me, what? Can you not green, please? <laughs> Stop, woman! What am I supposed to do? What's happening right now? Think about it, okay? Um... I feel harassed. I feel so harassed right now. Why did she throw Pokeballs at me? What just happened? I... 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 I just don't know. Mewtwo, do you understand what happened there? Because I honestly have no idea. I was bamboozled. Mewtwo's upset because he's fainted. That That's fair. I'm actually going to heal him up because of that. Because that just happened. I'm going to use a max revive. Why? I don't care. It's just a max revive. Ooh. Let's go. There we go. I mean, I only have five, but I'm never going to use them. Alright, are you happy now, Mewtwo? You're fully healed. Wait, did it take Mewtwo's key on a new Pokeball? Can you switch a Pokemon's Pokeball? That, that, there's no way you can do that. There's no way. Anyway, guys, that's going to round off things for this episode of Let's Go Legend Hunting. And like I said, it's going to be the final episode of Let's Go Legend Hunting. Um, there may be some of the things that I want to do in this game, including, um, obviously, wife battles are coming. And, uh, what do you call it? Uh, shiny hunting as well. I want to try and, you know, build a proper competitive team by chaining to get, you know, six savvy Pokemon, which, of course, could result in shinies. I do need a few more Pokemon for the Pokedex though before I get the shiny charm, uh, but we should be good to go and I cannot wait to actually get things started and move on to more post-game content. I know my post-game content has been very slow and it hasn't been as exciting, but I do want to hit things up really, really, really well when the things get going. So, um, on that note, like I said, this is going to be the end of the playthrough and I don't know if anything else is going to be coming to the channel in terms of a playthrough, at least for this save file of the game. I think we've done everything we need to do. Uh, but this coming weekend, on our normal stream time on Sunday, which is Saturday night for some of you guys, I'm going to be doing Wi-Fi battles in this game. It should be a great time, so I hope you're all looking forward to it. Either way, like I said, it's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Of course, if you want to know more about the stream times, I might leave a you know specific time in the description below. If not, keep an eye out on the Discord, because I'll be posting the stream times uh, as soon as I kind of confirm them. So, like I said, keep your eyes out there. Either way, I want to thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed once again. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.